That was back uh, a number of years ago, and I don't ever like to admit that I have trouble with the body or the mind, but I was having a lot of trouble with focusing and concentration. I was in a difficult marriage, for one thing. A lot of stress. And I've always been vegetarian, and I was doing a lot of raw food as well. And maybe well, How many years were you doing raw food? Oh, I've done raw food off and on for 40 years, but I was doing two years 100% raw. Uh -huh. And I guess it was, I wasn't getting quite enough protein or B12 or something because you could see with your clinical experience that I was having a lot of trouble of concentration, ADD, ADHD. Right. And so uh, you told me that I was really short of certain chemicals for the brain, dopamine and others, and that you had these special supplements that would help me, which I started taking. Right. And even today I have on my desk a little bottle of your brain energy that uh, when I, I sometimes get a little pre-Parkinson's, a little trembling of the thumb, comes and goes. Doesn't come very often, doesn't come very long. Uh, and that's a, a dopamine issue, you know, right? A dopamine issue, and this brain energy stops it. Right. And I don't have to do a lot of other interventions. That's all I need to stop this progression. What you gave me was a good perspective on wh who I am, my body type, my personality type is an NF which is a healer type, and uh, yeah, INFP, right. Myers-Briggs and INFP. Right. So uh, that reduced some of the anxiety I had about not being fitting into the culture because I'm not the business organized, get it done type person in the way that many other people are. Right. Right. And so that, that, that was a relief to learn that, that was very helpful. And you had to, in your clinical experience, you had seen that I fit into this slot of someone who has been vegetarian, has been depleted of protein, is getting brain issues, and you read the Riot Act to me saying you have to get more protein, you have to take free form amino acids, you need B, vitamin B, vitamin B12, a multivitamin, a whole program. I did a whole program like that that you recommended. Right. And it's very similar to what you have in that book that you sell on your website, which is right. uh, self-caring. Right. And I helped you edit that book, and yes, I got a lot of ideas from that book. Yes. And it's very helpful. Yeah. to balance the life and have a good um, nutrition profile for the brain. And one of the things I learned from you was that if you have nutrition deficits, that the first place you'll probably see it, particularly the protein, is the brain. Yes. Early symptoms of brain of low protein is, is ADD, memory lapse, poor concentration, anxiety attacks, depression. depression. And so I would get those kind of things and irritable bowel syndrome, right. sometimes bloody stool. Right. And sometimes but you didn't expect that it was going to heal, right? No, I, I didn't expect the brain stuff to heal that. But <clears throat> you had said this, and I, I didn't quite believe it. But if you take care of the brain, you take care of the body. Right. And so, and if you're going to study nutrition, study brain nutrition because you can, if you can give the brain the nutrition it needs, you give the body everything it needs also. Right. So I kind of took that as a as a starting point, and I've kind of simplified my life. And what happened to your memory? Well, I, I haven't done one-tenth of what you told me to do. I've been very bad. But I, what little I've done has been a lifesaver. And so now my memory has not been good and it's been short-term, still comes and goes, but I have enough to function at a pretty high level, much better than I did. Right. And it's improving. Okay. And so I hope to get on a program again more consistently with these chemicals that will help balance me. Right. It's just I have this mental block. I don't like to think I need to be balanced or be fixed. I, I can help myself by just changing my diet like that. But right. I know that thinking is not correct today because the soil is depleted and stress is out of control and all those things. Right. So I don't like taking pills and I uh, never have. So I have these issues that are, I, I would be a very difficult client for a nutritionist. <laughs> but you have worked with me very well and I've gotten, I would say a real turnaround, a difficult time in my life when I was having lots of trouble with the stress and working for LA Unified and it's in a difficult marriage and doing 100% raw food and not sleeping well, having sleep apnea and irritable bowel, poor digestion. Right. I needed a lot of intervention. Right. And so you gave me something very helpful to get through a very difficult period of my life. Yes. And you took part of the course, right, in uh, Brain Nutrition? I counseling. took part of the course in Brain Nutrition and I picked up some very, inf very inf uh, interesting information that's been very helpful. Right.
and and I use it all the time. It's made me smarter about what I do, and the little choices I make about my diet and my habits of thinking and feeling. Right. And what happened? You, you had a, an issue with B12, if I remember correctly. Oh Can my! I, I I was having bloody stool. I was having nerve pain, and I was having irritable bowel, and I thought, you know, you can think you're going to have an incurable nerve disease, or it can be very severe, the symptoms of B12, severe B12 deficiency. Yeah. And so, that was one of the things I picked up from your class on brain nutrition was, we don't need very much B12, but what little we do need, we need it. And if we don't have it, the problems can be out of control. I would give myself B12 shots for like a year, year and a half. I've run out of the stuff. I don't do it now, but I'm going to go back to shots eventually. And now I take sublingual off and on during the year. I use a bottle, then forget about it for a month or two and take another bottle. I get yeah. the best methyl cobalbum I can find, not the acetyl cobalbum, right. with the B6 and the other cofactors, folic acid. And I, I uh, try to do B, B vitamins and multivitamins and mineral supplements and in my raw food I keep up all that but I just have a little understanding now uh, how's differently. your focus? How's your focus lately? My focus has been very good. I, I feel like I'm functioning the best I've ever had in my life.